Taurus. Taurus, welcome. Let's get into your read. Um, I'm sure you've heard other tarot readers' spielies, and I'm not going to bore you with that. The only thing I will bore you with is that I don't always post on the same day for you. So that if you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe so that you'll be notified when I post new content. Talent is coming up in your current energy. Why is talent here? That is interesting. Talent is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Tower. Also the Star card. You know what? I need to look up what this talent card actually is. Because it's come out occasionally, but I don't necessarily understand the full meaning of this. Now, I understand that you have talents. You may not be showing them off. And the one thing that comes out in this, and I'm glad I looked... It is that talent, you've been blessed to be able to overcome obstacles. Don't buy into the competition. Give it your best shot. But enjoy as you live up to your true potential. <clears throat> now with the star card here, there is hope and healing. So underneath you working and pushing forward, we see that you're healing. Maybe this is physical healing for some of you. Maybe this is mental or emotional. But I see this as healing a connection. Because something broke down. With the Four of Cups here, something fell apart. Somebody was not happy. And you're overcoming that. So there's a lot that's going on for you. And with the Tower moment, you've probably had more aha moments in the last little while where things have come and really changed your outlook. Now, the interesting thing is, I see the devil here in this tower. So there might have been, and actually I believe this individual is actually on the devil card. So maybe there were things that fell apart, broke down, and at this particular point, you're not sure what to do with this Four of Cups regarding this Six of Cups, this other person. But we see the hope that it'll come back together. The desire or want that you have shows up as finding. Why is finding here for Taurus, please? The King of Wands. Eight of Coins, Five of Wands, Three of Wands. We see that you want to find a way in order to make things happen in your life where you are pushed a little bit, where you may have a bit of competition. But at the same time, we see that there's this desire to find work that may be meaningful to you, that you can do as a business for yourself and move forward in life with little or no competition. Interesting. What's the outcome? What is the outcome for Taurus, please? Confidence. Clarified by justice. Princess of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Well, with justice here and confidence, 
it's about time that you realize what you have to offer. You should be standing in front. You need to forgive yourself for beating yourself up. There's this point in time where once you do this and realize what you have to offer, this even goes back to talent, what you have to offer, you'll understand why this is here. We have the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Coins, and the Moon. And this is what's helping you. There's some regrets, possibly in a love situation that you were working on, possibly with a Pisces with the Moon here. For others of you, there's regret in love that you were working on. But there's a lot of uncertainty. And that uncertainty pushes you forward. Eight of Wands is what you need to be aware of. There's possibly co communication coming in for you with respect to love, with respect to gifts even coming in. As you move forward, this could be coming in slowly as you build your confidence and your wealth. The Ace of Coins, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Swords show up as the final three cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Ace of Coins, this could be a new start in business. There also could be a new start that is more solid with this Knight of Cups coming in. But there is truths here, and you may be a little guarded with this Knight of Cups coming in. So it could be an interesting situation. You're looking for clarity, fertility, lighten your load and forgiveness. There may be clarity around several situations that you want. One, as I can see, is this love or this regret. Because a lot's not known with the moon card. We also see fertility. I see this more as ideas taking root and growing. We see that also you're under or you're putting yourself under a lot of stress, possibly, and that you need to lighten your load. You need to give yourself that break mentally. And because the Knight or King of Swords is right here, it's kind of this thought process that keeps you heavily burdened. And there's points in time where you need to forgive yourself. There can be forgiveness had with this um, Six of Cups, that needs to happen uh, on both sides of the fence so that you both can move forward. Uh, and maybe that is what is weighing heavily on you. There could also be a partnership. Fertility card also reminds me of the Empress. <clears throat> so there may be clarity around a relationship that you're looking for. And that helps to lighten your load and move forward. But that's what I have for you today, Taurus. Best of luck this week. We will see you next time. Stay safe.